What up, man? You know what it is? Of course, Chosen Journey, your boy Trent set of sex. And, um, uh-oh, the, the legends, they done came through. They here. We got them, man. My brother Tip, Dro. Appreciate y'all, man, for pulling up, man, and sharing this platform, man. How y'all feeling, man? I'm feeling good, man. Yeah, man, I'm straight. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm good, couldn't, be, man. couldn't be better. Hey, listen, man. Let's get straight into it, man. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brand new song. Um, man, Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yeah. <laughs> Talk about it, man. I need the inspiration behind this, man. Uh, well, I think. Uh, so, well, I bumped into. Um, I bumped into my 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 brother from Sunday Service. I think they were down here doing a a Sunday Service pop up some kind of way. Okay. And and I just happened to catch him in traffic. And I told him, man, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to work with him, and um, I, I, I told him, and then we just kept in communication. And you know, I called him and said, you know, I always had an idea to do, you know, to redo a couple, a couple gospel songs, mm. just to, you know, merge, just to bridge the gap, you know, kind of merge the genres. And we talked about which ones they were, and one of them was never would have made it. And um, maybe a few weeks passed. And he sent me um he sent me a a, a rendition, it's a track with you know, with a hook. And uh I I rode to it for a little while and one day I was in the studio, uh, you know what I'm saying, I had you know, I, I, and I, I, I was reminded or I remembered that I had that beat. So I played it. I played it once and I wasn't gonna do it. And then, you know, uh, the room was like, man, you know, you might need to go try that. So I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> and so uh, I went in there, laid some down. wasn't really sure about it, but I kept it. And let me see. I think maybe about two weeks after that, I ran into Kurt. Okay. And um, and we we had always talked about doing something together. Okay. Even you know, I think Kurt came up to uh Trap City, okay, up to the Trap City Cafe, and we were talking about doing some. Um, then maybe a few weeks after that, I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I can get Kurt on this record. Ah, okay. And then, uh, Kyle Kurt sent him the record. He was like, yeah, man, I, you know, I love it. So he was making an arrangement to come to Atlanta to get on the record. And coincidentally, the day he would come in, I talked to Dro. I was like, yeah, man. Yeah, he didn't to... tell me anything. <laughs> right. when, when, when you don't remember, you was like, I got this record for you. And then you was like, I think this, you know, it fits. Yeah. You know, fits you right, right yeah. quick. And then that was it. I, he was like, okay, we're, we're going we're gonna to do it. And I, all of that was happening. And then one day I got to the studio and I heard it. And then he was like, oh, yeah, and Kirk on the way. I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, this is huge. You know what I mean? So, Dro, talk about it, man, because, like, you know, I see what you've been doing. Shout out my man, 1K Fuse, Zay mm. Tovin. Um, and, you know, on the song, thank God, you know, you was talking about, like, two years sober, like, almost od Like, mm. man, can you talk about the testimony? I mean, it, it's just a, a testimony of, like, being, like, seriously tired of the outcomes of, of things. You know what I mean? Wow. I just was tired at that moment. And um, I felt like that was a good place, a good safe place for me to, mm. you know, tell, you know, speak my piece on it. And, um, and you know, what better way to say it than to God? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. You know, and be thankful for um, pulling through a situation like that. Wow. Yeah. Um, tip, man. Okay, we got Kirk. Dro don't even know what's going on. Y'all got the song put together. Like, what mm -hmm. was the conversation like? creatively with Kirk? Like, did y'all have, like, what was he saying to you? Nothing, man. I mean, you know, I just I just wanted him to do his thing. Like, that, that's the purpose of a collaboration, mm. you know, to bring the 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 great, the great, the great uh, contributions of, of one artist and merge them with the greatest contributions of other artists. Like, that's, that's the, the sweet spot of collaboration. So I didn't want to micromanage too much. Uh, I just, you know, I just, I knew I wanted, I wanted him to kind of uh, lead and direct the quiet. One thing that that caught me by surprise. I'm gonna tell you something. Talk I ain't gonna lie. To no, me. Talk to me. Talk to me. I ain't know Kurt played the piano. I saw you that. Know, so yeah. I was like, oh, 
<laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. I thought, you know what I'm saying, he was like the choir director, or just, should I say, just the choir director and like, you know what I'm saying, the maestro. Right, right, right. Would. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea that he would actually kind of like, I get classically, uh, you know, trained, yeah. formally trained uh, on the keys. So that that shook me. I was like, okay, cool. You know, and and he just had a lot more to offer than I, I could have imagined. Wow. Yeah, it was deep. Uh, Tip Dro's here. We talking about, thank God, man. Um, The song coming out and, you know, the state of hip hop right now and how important the messaging has been. Like, you know, what's been going on, the beefs and all that kind of good stuff. Wait, right? You, you know what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> the stuff that just happened. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Just I'm, happened. I'm talking well, a couple of months ago. Oh, you talking about okay, the, 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 the the Kendrick the Drake, the rap, and all yeah, the, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, ain't got nothing to do with you. I'm just speaking in general, the I state of hip hop. Um, but that's happened all the time. It's not a current state. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's been a part of this thing of ours ever since conception. Okay, this, this thing of ours. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, what I'm saying there's no that's that that's nothing new. You know, I think that you know we we. We kind of see it and don't see it, so maybe that's why I'm so numb to it. That way, I, mm. you know, it just seemed normal. Mm. So you are saying like coming from coming from what just happened? I wasn't that, pointing that, that out. That, I was that, using that, it as an no example. Bearing or where, where okay. we where we were. No, I was using that as, as an example. Like okay. you know, um, the timing of thank God, mm. you know, and like people focus on the messaging mm. of records. Right. And the responsibility of delivering the message. And I just wanted y'all well, take on that. Mm. Well, the reason I put that, well, okay, we had done the record while, like, you know, maybe some some weeks, months ago. reason I, I wanted to put it out in this moment is because of what I've, you know what I'm saying, my personal journey, uh, me and my wife's, what we've gone through. Mm. And with me, you know, I guess you could say getting a BL, I get trying to get up. I see him, way. I see him. Uh, Can y'all grab... Um, there's somebody else downstairs. His name is BL. Yeah. Yeah. But uh so what me and my wife have been going through, man, for, for so long with just all of this, I mean, I'ma call it harassment and attempted extortion. Mm. That's what I'ma call it. Mm. Uh failed attempted extortion. Okay. Uh by way of slander, you know, out there in the in in the in by way of publicity. And I, you know, this is it's been a long road. I've been we've been dealing with it since January of 2021. And you know what I'm saying? It finally done made it to a place where, you know, <clears throat> we could put it behind us. And and then on the heels of that, uh got locked up at the airport. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. I'm like, man, the devil is busy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just felt that it was an appropriate time just to, you know what I'm saying, just to show how thankful I am, just that I've mm. been able to sustain, overcome, endure, you know, and, and and be resilient in the face of adversity, man, by the grace of God, so many times, over and over mm. and over and over and over again. Mm. So that's the reason. That was the timing of it that's, for me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fire uh, draw. Well, I thought, I think that um, I had a responsibility to speak about addiction. Um, I feel like it's prevalent in the community, in the black community. You know, uh, a lot of black young males are overdosing at an alarming rate. Mm. You know what I mean, um, they, they actually die more than they are from guns. Mm. So... And I think that we're, we we have we want to have a voice, or we want to talk about things that we don't talk about, and we're we're using drugs to in the place of that, like to cope with it. You know, and most of us are dying with our story. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, a, a kid might have a, a kid might have a lot on his mind and need to talk to somebody, but he's doing drugs, and one day he picks up a fentanyl pill. Or, and takes it, and he dies with the story. And I feel like that's that's messed up. You know what I mean? So mm. I I would want to shed light on addiction and how it, how it comes into the family, how it breaks the family up. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and it's just it's prevalent in our neighborhoods and in our communities, even in the schools now. One a kid just got a hope to something and, and OD. Wow. You know what I mean? But it was I think it was like a shroom or something. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and then, wow. Yeah. And then something, shroom. Something, yeah. OD on shrooms? Yeah. I ain't never heard of that. 
Yeah, it's wow. a lot. It's a lot, of, it's a lot of new stuff that you know. what I mean, yeah, that's being presented, and, and it and it all and, and it all just um thrives from. I wanna, I I got this something going on in the inside that I I can't communicate, so I'm gonna just get high. Mm. You know what I mean? And then it breaks up the family, it mess up schools, it it changes the whole trajectory on a teenager once they try any drug. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And I and I just want to speak on it and tell why I came from it, how long it took. My daddy smoked dope for 50 years. Wow. You feel me? And my aunties and uncles, my grandmama had like seven kids. Uh, five of them died off of drugs. You know what I mean? And one of them, it, one of them is a recovering addict and my mom never used. Mm. You know what I mean? So it, it was very prevalent in my family and to be done came out of that, I think it was my duty and my responsibility to tell them that I broke broken the curse in my family. Wow. That's dope. Uh, Dro, talk about, you tapped in with the Recording Academy. Yeah, Music Kids. Yeah, like, can you kind of dive into that? Uh, one one day, um, my manager was trying to give me some help, Dr. Sierra. She was trying to, you know, tap in and just help out. And so she got me on the phone with this dude. And I was trying to play him really like, you know, yeah, I want some help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, want, <laughs> like, I want some help, you know, I'm gonna do this. And I was on the phone with him and he, and he was dropping jewels and he was like, you know, he was like, I'm a musician too. And I was like, oh, here this go. You know, you always meet somebody that, you know, and then the big question come out, where's T.I.? I was like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know, they, they all, it's always something that they try to connect to you because music and then who I'm attached to. And I thought it was one of those things, like, oh, he's about to ask a T.I. question. Mm. And he, he did, but you know what I mean? It, yeah. He still was dropping jewels, and he was like, yo, music cares, can, you know, they deal with it, you know, they'll they'll put up half, you know, you just put up the other half, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I, I, I really wasn't listening to it because I was trying to just show my manager that I'll just get some semi help mm. so she can quit <laughs> so she can quit thinking I was just like out there like you know what I'm saying so um lo and behold took took heed to the information and music actually cares you know what I mean yeah. and they and when I reached out to them and they was like oh we got you know bro and you know I went um I, I went and did an assessment and I uh, went to California man and it was the beginning of a new crazy new thing man. yeah Crazy chosen journey here. I got tip. I got dro. Tip fatherhood, man. Yo. Kids going crazy, bro. Yeah. How does that feel, man? Man, it feel. I mean, it's great to have them doing their own thing out of my house. <laughs> you know, it's great to watch them do their own thing, like at their own place. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and 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 I see now that they can understand the value of of. Of, of like taking care of their stuff. Mm. Yeah. Cause before at my house, they tell stuff up, they never cared. You know, nobody right. ever cared. Like I buy a new one. Right. Now, you, you test them up at their house, they understand, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, and and Demonte J got his, his first place, his first house, he just bought his first house. Nice. And you know what I'm saying? And, and he's like, <laughs> so he had, so he's buying stuff for his house now. And he's like <laughs> looking at the price of stuff. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. Like, and I think it was some blinds, you know, the automatic yeah. blinds. It was like, this is how, this for blinds? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, you got a small house. So. <laughs> Just imagine, you know, couches and TVs, refrigerators, appliances. Mm. You all, know, the, all the details that, that. All of that stuff, man, you know, it's good. It's, I, 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 I find pleasure in watching the realization kick in. Like, damn, I've been messing up folk money all these years, <laughs> you know. And uh, he just uh, became a father. So I, I got two grandchildren now. Wow, congrats. Yeah, I got two granddaughters. I got a grandson on the way. Wow. King's about to have a son. King's about to have a son. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. And I told him I'm going to make this the greatest gangster of all time. <laughs> I'm going to... I will raise this child to <laughs> to torture you the way that you tortured me. <laughs> I promise you there will be an indictment in this young one. <laughs> oh man. Um so kiss the king. Kill the kiss king. Kiss the king, kill the king. Talk about that, man. Like what we got coming. I'm just trying to put an exclamation point on this career, man, man, this music career, man. You know, the solo music career of who we know as T.I., uh, 
you know what I'm saying? I feel like, man, I got the music for two themed albums, one of which would be more easy listening, dedicated to the ladies called Kiss the King. Mm -hmm. The other one would be a little more controversial, a little edgier, um, you know, with the dynamics of, I guess, all of the high energy music that we like to hear from T.I. Mm. Cross with the introspective records that we like to hear from T.I. And that would be called Kill the King. Mm. Uh, PSC Project. Dro. Uh, mm. Shout out my man Drama. Y'all got the uh, mixtape coming out, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's up with that? Um, I think... The the PSC project is um, is very special to me, like because it shows like the unity still like between brothers like over the years mm -hmm. that that nothing nothing broke us. You know what I mean? Like we we're still here. It ain't too many crews you can just look back and see every last one of them still facts. still still intact. You yeah, know what facts, I mean? You yeah. know what I mean? And that's special to me. I mean, I think that's a perfect example for youth and you know crews and stuff like that. You know, don't let nothing come in between you guys and break nothing up. Nothing is no, nothing is bigger than the family. You know what I mean? Mm. And um, I think that the music on there is all like I want to say like excellent. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Not nah, because it's it's just us being in the room together and putting forth our best foot. You know what I'm saying? As a crew. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and and the DJ drama thing that that they. You know, um, invented a long time ago the gangster. I was right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to come back and touch on that. You yeah, know what I mean? That's you know, fire. Man, that's, that's, uh, that's just legendary. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. um, apartments, yeah. Uh, Trap City, Trap uh, Music Museum, man. Mm -hmm. The businesses flourishing, man. Bankhead um, Seafood. Yeah. Yes. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? We got a bunch of stuff going, man. Um, Super Sound Studios. Mm -hmm. uh, also, about to start filming the Departments 2. Okay. Um, and later on this year, uh, I'll also be directing um, another film that, that I, I, be, I wrote, will be directing. I'm going to star in this one, though, uh, alongside Terrence J. Okay. Okay. Uh, DC Young Fly and a host of others. It's called Situationships. Situationships. It's a romantic comedy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you you gonna still be doing the comedy thing? Or doing yeah. Some, yeah. Working on doing my special. Yeah. You know what I mean, working on doing my special. Uh, sometime, sometime uh, later this year, probably to be put out next year. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tip draw. Thank God. Yeah. Kirk Franklin, man, appreciate you. Sunday your service. Sunday, Sunday service. service. Hey, man, and shout out to, hey, man, to the legendary Marvin Sapp who uh, yeah. gave us the nod. Wow. Yeah. You know, allowed us to use the record. It never would have made it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah never would have made it without Marvin. Never would have made it without that. <laughs> <laughs> never would have made it. <laughs> um, do y'all think y'all would put out an EP? What you in, mean? In that genre, like. Uh, man, yeah. I don't, I mean, I think faith is something that, you know, it exudes through all creation, you know, whatever whatever level of faith you have. I think whatever music we put out will have a level of faith in it, but for it to be, you know, I don't know. I'll do it for God. I'll do it. <laughs> we, we, got, we got it in this. I mean, it can happen. Yes. It can happen. I hadn't thought about it, like just dedicating an entire project mm. to it. Yeah. I hadn't thought about it. I feel like the music is the determining factor. If we... Uh, if we if we stack up enough songs right. to where it's EP worth, it's an EP worth, got you. then we'll put it at. I got you. Yeah. I got you. We were talking about doing, you know, a project together anyway. Talk about it. Uh, drip. Drip. Yeah, drawing yeah. tip. Kind of drip. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See what I did? <laughs> <laughs> that was smart. That was smart. How far are we with that? But we, we, we in there. We got a couple of we weeks. Got we got to never grab them. You know yeah, what I'm saying? we just got to put them together. Put them together. We got the records. Yeah, they, they there. I like it, man. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate y'all brothers, man. Right on. Thank y'all for just pulling up, man. Man. Sharing it. man. Appreciate you yeah. and, and congratulations, yeah. man. You Thank know what you, I'm saying? Bro. I see you got your new, you know, got your new a new ship here. You, you, <laughs> you coasting, you know, yeah. cruise liner. 
Ain't, no. there, ain't, hey man, ain't nothing wrong with that. How you like, like, you know what I'm saying, being over there on this side by yourself? I like standing strong, man. It's a fearless movement, you know. Okay. Um, I still sense. You know yeah, what I mean? that's what I was finna say. Yeah. You know, like we we yeah. like family, you know. Yeah, I'm still yeah. here, you know, and you know, brothers like y'all come share the platform and right. you know, yeah, man. I appreciate it. Already, man. With love. love and respect. Yeah, man. Already. Okay. Likewise. Appreciate y'all, man. In Tip. Drunk. You see it. Thank God. You dig. Yes, sir. It's chosen journey.